ask you uh, a lot of stuff you got to do in your career, whether it's voice acting or otherwise. Once you're like your favorite, your best memory, you're like, oh, I'll do that again tomorrow. You know what? Um, I'll pick a new thing um, because I just finished uh, in April. You'll see me uh, on AMC in October in an uh, interview with the vampire, Anne Rice. AMC bought the rights to all of Anne Rice's stuff and they're doing a limited series. And I got a couple episodes on that puppy and it's a period piece in like in the 1910s in, in New Orleans. And, uh, and it's really, really cool. And I would love to revisit that again. That would be really a lot of fun. But Can you talk more about the character? No. no. <laughs> I tried. No, it's all right. It's like, what happens? You'll have to watch and find out. That's it. Um, but but no, it's like uh, it's it, it's really cool. It's like um, you know to get to get on camera and do that kind of work again. It's just it's like riding a bike. It's it's a lot of fun. And um, and then I booked something else while I was doing that, and, and that's going to be Perry Mason on HBO. I got a couple episodes on Perry Mason. Which is just really, it's really cool because everybody's just like, oh, you're the voice guy. And it's like, I'm trying to do everything I can. I mean, I'll give you an example because I did Better Call Saul in 2019, which is cool. People are just like, oh, dude, I saw you. You're the, you're the construction crew foreman. You're like, oh my God. You know? And it was great because I showed up and Bob Odenkirk, who is a wonderful guy, his brother Bill was a writer on Futurama from the get go. Which is really cool. So I introduced myself to Bob. I said, Bob, how you doing? It's great to be here. And uh, I just want to let you know I worked with Bill for many, many years. And he was like, oh, really? What? I was like, Futurama. He's like, oh my God, who are you? I was like, well, I, I played Bender. And he was just like, oh my God, Bender, oh man, that's fantastic. What a gig. What a gig. He's like, well, that's great. To, that's great. It's great to see you. Great to see you. Great to have you here. We're going to have a lot of fun. And I was like, dude, I'm so thrilled. Well, the guys who were playing my construction crew, all these big tough dudes, tattoos and shit. <laughs> they hear a bender. They freak out. <laughs> These guys are like, dude, man, you're bender? Oh man. I can't believe it, bro. That's so cool, man. Oh my god, dude, I want you with my wife all the time. We were like <laughs> the little kids in a heartbeat is the funniest thing. That's a thing I always like to go back to because it just, it, cartoons make people so happy. It turned, you know, if you can get on a cartoon that entertains people from the age of one to 92, which it usually, usually a lot of the stuff I do does, um, there's always something for somebody. That feeling is the role I like to portray when I meet someone or when, you know, when talking about, so that thrills me. That's the thing I like to go back to because people just get such a kick out of it and the energy and, and the emotion that people are, it, it's just, that's special to me. That's something that I enjoy again and again that I like to go back to. So there's your, I hope that answers your question. Awesome, thank you. All right, cheers.